Hello my friends and welcome to episode 70 of The Wanderer. Today we take on both legs of the games in the Champions League playoffs against Genk. We started our season, I'm not going to cover pre-season, so if you want to go and cover pre-season, pause it and have a look at all those results. Went very, very intense with my pre-season, in fact, probably too intense, if anything. Um, however, we started our season with an absolute flyer, Z Gomez, and a debut goal from Lewis Morgan to give us a 2-0 win over Hibs, but it was two going on a lot, lot more, and that's going to be the story uh, going forward against Motherwell. I had a player sent off in the 93rd minute. I actually was a bit frustrated at that. I felt really, really sorry for him. I didn't feel he deserved it. Um, as a second yellow. And it's the kind of thing that I had a good squad. It's the 93rd minute of the game. Go on, let him off with it. Kind of thing. Mabure scored and Z Gomez scored to give us 2-0. Again, we absolutely dominated this game. And then we played Dundee. Played a very, very rotated team. Kyle Walker in there. Vesic in there. Patev back in. Uh, Stuart Baird came in for his debut or debut since his return, I can't remember if it's uh, his actual debut. Ryan Hedges back in, Jokic in, Harry Cochran back in, Arenkin on the left wing, Ross McShane up top. Subs being Harry Arthur, Bayer and Mario Balotelli getting his debut. Uh, Stuart Baird scored the goal and it was a 1-0 win. A very, very comfortable 1-0 win. I only remember them having one major shot. And the rest was all about us. And then we played Hamilton. And this game couldn't have gone better. Zach Rudden scored his first goal for Hamilton and against us. Andrejic got injured, which means he's out for today, but Harry Arthur's more than capable of coming in. He's now up to match fitness. He picked up a knock towards the end of pre-season. Uh, Z Gomez scoring a brace. Daffo Mubri scoring an absolute thunderbolt. And Stuart Baird on the score sheet again. This was a much stronger team and much more looking like our first team. However, I'm happy with that and we're going to get into the game. So, this is the team we're going with. We're going with Woodman and goal. Kyle Walker at right back. I'm debating on him into Vetanov. Uh, but I decided to go with the experience today. Lomba in there, Suter in there, Cresswell in there, nice and experienced. Grant Young comes back in for Stuart Baird, who I was very, very tempted to play. Uh, but I went with Young instead. Harry Arter in, as we discussed previously. Lewis Morgan, Bayer, Mamoudi making up the midfield attack in three and Gomez up at top on his own. The bench looks strong as well. Federun can cover a couple of positions. Cochrane in there. Hedges can cover a couple of positions. Jokic can cover a couple of positions. Tvetanov can probably cover a couple of positions if he really needed to play the left back. Patev in there for defence and Vesic in there. Any names we recognise in this gank side. I'm just going to have a quick look. A couple of regens. That I've not scouted and a lot of players that I don't recognise personally, you might let me know down below. We're going to try and get into that game and get a good first result. Rangers got knocked out by Dynamo Kiev in their qualifiers, so they're now into the Europa League qualifiers. But we have four teams in that Europa League uh, current qualifying round. I can't remember what one it is, so going to try and get a reaction. We've got them. Remember the kit that we've got in game right now is the one I've made. I've not actually changed it because uh, back because I don't want to mess up the match engine. Uh, so bear with me on that. I have asked somebody else for help uh, who's much more experienced at this kind of thing and has access to Photoshop rather than GIMP that I use and a template's designed on Photoshop so it's much much easier to use. Um, however um, this is interesting, Morgan crosses in, Z Gomez, oh he's taken a great first touch there, laid it down for himself and then just not responded to the ball being there. Uh, however, hopefully once the new kits come in they will look absolutely ecstatic, I've looked at the quality of the lad that I've asked for help from and the quality of the stuff he's done in the past is absolutely amazing, so I'm not going to say who it is because in case it doesn't happen and somebody else, I ask somebody else to do it um, or I eventually get the ability to do it myself, but um, we're 1-0 down we had two big chances there and we're 1-0 down I mean we're still going to Europa League if we lose this so that's a positive but I felt like we'd started bright there um, 
So we've got the Iron Brew sponsor. I went with them simply because I had tried to go through all the sponsors that was in the 500k bracket. And for that, it was alcohol. And realistically, on realism, it was alcohol and betting companies. And I want to be a family-friendly channel. Hearts are family-friendly club. Now, I've not seen they wouldn't use these sponsors, but I wanted to give them the credit not to us. Lewis Morgan's in. He's hit the post. No, it was saved in the post. <sighs> no. That's a corner into the back post. Don't foul him. Turn now. Morgan nicks it, though. Launches forward for Z Gomez. He brings it forward in a stride. He's got men in the middle now. Can he find them? It's a poor touch before he goes in, but Harry Arter's there, and that's a thundering volley from the former Burnmouth man for his first heart goal. We're looking dangerous, particularly down the right. I've not seen us have a single attack down the left yet. Now, let's not concede as soon as we kick off, because that would be bad for business. That's launch forward. We're going to concede as soon as we kicked off, haven't we? Well, it was nice being level what we were. Um, the other thing is, I'm now looking at coaches. I found a guide online. I'm, I was concerned doing a tutorial on it. I'm based on what stats offer what star rating and how to work it out. Um, I don't feel right doing the uh, a tutorial on it when it's not my work. That's coming. Is he going? That's a monster save from the keeper. How do you not score there? I'm going to set up my set piece takers, that's one thing I need to remember and do. Lewis Morgan taking this corner, he plays it across to Hassan. And back to uh, Kyle Walker rather, I was going to say Jamie Walker, Harry Arter, Hassan. Into towards Dapo Mabudi, but Mabudi sleeping, he's been so so good, but he was sleeping there. Defender reacted better than him. Uh, I feel like we've not played bad here, we've gave him two chances and they've taken two goals. Uh, but if you look at their fitness levels, they are tiring quicker than us. Um, so yeah, I looked at that, and I'm now offered a couple of coaches that hopefully get us up to four and a half stars. I think one of them might actually be four star and I'm messed up, but I'm still going to take him because I think he's uh, slightly better than the guy we've got as much as he's still be four star. I think he has the coaching badge potentially go up. Uh, so we're going aggressive. Show me something else in the second half. We need a win here ideally because they've got two away goals now. So a 1-0 win wouldn't be enough for us in Belgium. He's played forward for Mabudi. They beat uh, Leisure Wassel in the last game to get here as well. So they have beaten a good, good team. Uh, the other big things to talk about in the league is Alex Neal is left dangerous. He's gone to FC Porto. Harry Otter with a free kick towards Grant Young. It's a penalty. Z Gomez to take it. He's been on fire this season. Can he get us a penalty goal? Already four league goals to become joint top goal scorer. It is in the back of the net from the Portuguese international. Great, great stuff. We're going to do both legs in this episode as well, by the way. Uh, pretty sure I said that already, but just in case I didn't, I'm saying now. They made their first sub. We're going to bring on Cochrane and match up. Now, we can bring on Jokic in that ball when we field a row, or, well, he'll go to deep line playmaker because I've set it up to do that. With the personalised, um, so he's coming on with fitness wise, their defence is absolutely knackered, who else can we bring on? Uh, Fedroom might be, actually be a really good option on the left, I don't think that uh, my buddies had the best of games and that extra pace might be very, very useful. Kyle Walker taking the throw in into Lewis Morgan, back to Fedroon, and into Grant Young, oh it's trickled wide! From the young man. Coming like a late, late winner here. Their defence is absolutely shattered. The right backs had a horror show. And in truth, we really should have won this. This game. But we're going in the way like with a 2 all result. I'm going to go with them for them, please. Try and fire them up. We've got Rangers in between times. So I'm going to go play that game and I'll be back for the second leg in just a second. And we're back with the second leg. Slightly different team. We've got Woodman and goal again. Tvetanov, Patev this time. Suter, Cresswell, Young, Arthur, Morgan, Cochrane, 
Maburi and Balotelli, unfortunately, Zee Gomez picked up a knock in the game against Rangers. We won 1-0 through a Zee Gomez goal. Picked up a knock. He is back in training, but he's not fit. I looked at my options, I felt Balotelli was the best option available for this specific game. We've got Ross McShane on the bench. Bayer not quite match fit, same with Lomba. <clears throat> and Tavet and Overthorpe just played well in the Rangers game, to be honest with you. So, this is the team we're going with. We need three points. Uh, De Jong, I recognise that name. Frankie De Jong, why would I recognise that? Maybe Ajax, I'm not sure. It's maybe just one of those he's called De Jong, and there's so many De Jongs that you're going to recognise one of them eventually. Um, so, we're underdogs for this away leg, unfortunately. We're just two all at home. And I'm going to say, I have faith. Try and get some reactions. Still using the same kits uh, as the last time, of course. Um, so, we need a win. We need a goal. Give us it nice and early, please. Preferably for the team in Maroon. Don't want to have to find two goals. De Jong to Gonkankuri. De Jong played across my booty. You've got to be reading that better, son. And that's got to be Patev, surely. Woodman blocks and saves. Taken away by Cresswell. He slows it down a little bit. Gives time for lads to get forward and have a breathe. Cochrane. Forward for Balotelli. He's not the quickest, but it's headed only as far as Mabudi. Into Harry Cochran now. He's got Lewis Morgan ahead of him. And he finds Lewis Morgan and into Mabudi and it's over the bar. <sighs> he was a bit silent in the last game, Dapo Mabudi. And he was very silent in the Rangers game as well, to the point I ended up bringing him off for Federun. Uh, I'm not so impressed with that one, I have to admit. Their left back is looking knackered and our attacking midfielder is looking knackered as well. So that gives us some hope. I've also signed some coaches, but I'm probably going to go through that in the next episode. Uh, just make sure I don't go for any more business. Did mess up a little bit. Basically, I signed a guy that, and I couldn't sack the other guy because his, his uh, wages would cost too much. So I had to sack somebody else thinking that he would get it in the four and a half star. And that. I thought he'd done it in two stats and he only done it in one. So ended up just wasting a lot of money. And so I ended up getting one four and a half star improvement. Can't attract anyone five star yet. And there was another guy who I thought would be five star and obviously done the math wrong. Morgan, he's got Tvetanov in front of him. That's a great ball. Great takedown from Tvetanov and a great touch. My booty at the back post, he's hit the post and then he doesn't fall in with the rebound. Oh, and Adair's kept it in for them. How has my booty not scored in this game? He has the free kick just now. I have set up my free kick takers now. Harry Arthur. Oh, we've had seven shots. We've not put a single one of them on target and it's been some big, big, big chances for us. Ah, I feel like we're going to bring off Balotelli at half time for a uh, McShane. Balotelli's maybe just not offering the kind of performance that I'm wanting him to. But at the same time, I don't know if I want to do that because I might want to help him on later on. De Jong. There. Oh, he's got the overlap. I was going to say, if that's the goal that we concede after the half we've had, I'd have been absolutely furious. You know, they have had nine shots and five on target, but they've not had any big, big chances. Bellatelli actually having a shocker. So, I think we're going to change things at half time. And what we're going to do is we're going to go angry I'm going to make a sub I'm going to bring Balotelli over here I'm going to play you as a Tecarista so much more of a supporting role I don't think I can play him as a false nine he maybe could manage it but we'll go with the role he actually wants to play and we'll play an advance forward here it's going to be Ross McShane and it's bringing it's changing our worst performer and bringing off our second worst performer so see if it makes a difference going two up top four two four almost Ramsden out to Gatui. And we still got the option of bringing Balotelli off for Hassan, of course, if we need to. Uh, Morgan's starting to tire. We're going to bring on Hedges for him. He has been very, very good though, Lewis Morgan. But yeah, starting to tire. We always played a full strength team in that 1 0 win over Rangers. De Jong plays it out. It's headed down. <sighs> Cleared off the line by Cresswell. Only a player and out for a 
corner kick. Really not sure what to make of that. Gakuru plays it into Ramsden. Played back to Zergova. It's played in. Off the post. Right, we need to change something here because this isn't working. Balotelli's having a shocker, to be honest. So what I'm thinking. We're going to put my booty here. Bring Hassan on. Put you here. I'm going to play you on. Can you play it as a false nine for me, please? I'm going to bring you inside. Inside, please. Thank you. Hedges here as a false nine. Support. I'm going to go overload. I know it's a, actually attacking. Going to look for more direct passing. Narrow. Stop playing out of defence. Pass into space. Want you roaming from position. Right, move into channels. Roam from position, please. Really work those defenders. Yeah, move into channels. Roam from position for both our false nines. Because I like false nines doing that. Um, anything else that we can do? Do need a goal here. Exploit the middle, please. Bring you back. We'll bring you back. You can't really do this role, but we're going to work with it. You'll do that for us quite nicely, I think. Play. We just need to change something. We need to change something because we need a goal so badly. Well, can we respond to that to vet and all clears away to Hedges? He's got a man with him. Can you play the pass already? <sighs> Maybe this time. Hedges in for Ross McShane. Get in, son. The problem with that change, though, is I don't know how to take it back defensively. Actually, no, it's quite simple, actually. Let's go back. We'll actually keep you there. Keep you there. You go back here. You go here. You can go onto that. Don't know why you were on an attacking midfielder. That was strange. More direct passing, but we're going to counter now. That's all we're changing. Ugh. Ross McShane, what a time to get your first Hearts goal, son. That tactical change worked. When he got the free kick there as well, I was absolutely dreading it and then he played it into the space and I was like oh no it's one of them got the away goal now though but we cannot concede here so let's go with contain pump the ball into the box now stop looking for the overlap be the over disciplined all that sort of good stuff structured normal tempo slightly deeper Hassan's coming back as well my booty Actually, we'll play you up top as a false nine again. Uh, just give us a bit more of an outlet. Hedges can go in here as a shadow striker. That works sometimes. Hmm. Not quite sure I like this formation, though. No. <sighs> Uh, let's go to you as well. Uh, over the top, take long kicks, slow the pace down. Yeah, we're going to work with that. It's still effectively a front three with the Shadow Striker and Ryan Hedges, but it's going to hopefully work. We can hopefully see this game out. Ross McShane, I think it was his first goal for the club. Uh, hopefully, his goal is enough. We're back in the Champions League, my friends. <sighs> I felt like we deserved it on the first half. And then that goal that we got, I was so, so frustrated. I think it was McShane that made the big, big run. And it never, the pass never came. But it worked out in the end. We're back in the Holy Grail of the Champions League. In the most bizarre circumstances. It was the only shot we had on target, if I remember correctly. But what a way to do it. But was amazing in the first half, we just couldn't hit the target. Second half, we are fairly average, changed tactics, we got the goal, changed tactics about two more times. And we got there. 
Uh, Partizan winning through now, they're interesting. Going out to Austria, Wayne, because that's such a bad first leg. Copenhagen will join us in the Champions League as well. And the other thing I need to mention before I forget is next season, all the Scottish clubs have gone up one sort of qualification place. So we go into the group stage. I think Rangers go into the second qualifying stage still. Uh, I hope Celtic could go directly into the group stage of the Europa League and so forth. It's the same amount of teams in the Champions League and the Europa League, but everyone goes forward a stage. So, Hearts win Champions League playoff 3-2. Uh, 1.78 million for winning against Genk, that's great news, and then a further 11.32 million, putting us back to 44 million in that bank account, despite spending big, big money this season, and investing in so many things, uh, you know, we've got our training facilities are going to go up to 5 star, youth facilities, I don't know if it actually shows me here, but uh, team says four and a half stars so I'm going to go that's going with normal training session but whatever we'll go with that anyway guys when do we come back we're not coming back yet we're going to go and get the draw the draw is tomorrow that is much much more important than working out when we're coming back because we're going to come back for the next Champions League game I would imagine depending on who we get hope, I'm kind of hoping we're going to be third seed this time please tell me this game is not crashed can breathe a sigh of relief. You guys would have felt my nerves there. We have offers. Uh, scouting me in. I'm ignoring you just now. Uh, transfer deadline date. We're going to decline. Carry on loan. Nope. And Baird on loan. No, <laughs> certainly not for that offer to Johnston. Um, not when he's actually in and around our first team. So I thought the game had froze there. <sighs> Can breathe a big sigh of relief when it didn't. So we're just waiting for the draw. I'm, I'm hoping we're third seeds. Because that would mean that we have a seed that's lower than us. And that means there's a team that's t in the group stages that we could potentially beat and go into the Europa League. Um, Hearts get 30% of Ewan Henderson's transfer. So remember this guy. I had so much hope for him when we first came to the club. Didn't develop. We sold him for 170k and I made sure we got that transfer fee in. Just gone to Motherwell for 225k. And that 35% profit has got us £3,700. Smashing. This is a goalkeeper I've been scouting for a long, long time. When we, if and when we lose a... Uh, Woodman, this is a guy I want to just go and snap and get into the place. I'm Polish goalkeeper, very, very good. Um, don't freeze on my game. So scared. When it's so slow like that, I'm so, so scared. <laughs> it's frozen. Ugh. So scary. You guys will know that yourself when it's, the process is slow and you've just had a big result. And you're like, oh no. Um. Come on, let's just get to this draw. We've been discussing it for long enough, so want to get the group that's almost the opposite of what we had last season. Um, got an encoding overloaded, so apologise for that. That might be why I'm thinking my game's crashing because it's not working. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop the recording and I'll come back with the draw. Finally, we've got to the draw. It was a good decision to pause the recording, I think, because it took so long to get here. I ended up having to save the game because it was every time that I was going into the load screen, it was taking so, so long to process that I was paranoid that it was crashing. It's obviously just because it's transfer deadline day as well. Uh, on top of transfers, Cameron Burgess has got us another 19.1k as Gijon have decided to cash in on a massive loss for him. Cost him 8 million from us last season. Played 17 games. And has moved to Young Boys for 1.9 million, worth 4.1. So I'm not sure if he was transfer listed or whatever, but you know that's a big, big loss and a pretty good signing for Young Boys. I think a very, very good player. Um, so Champions League draw. Please tell us for third. We're fourth. We've literally got 14 points. 
Exactly. The next lowest is 29. <laughs> okay, we had no chance of being third. That's painful. So, I guess we're going to draw all the teams and then pick a group that we want. So, which group could we probably feasibly get out of here? Madrid, Juventus, Shakhtar. Let's avoid that. Lisbon, Benfica, Liverpool, Dortmund. Probably best avoiding that. And our PSG Sporting, probably best avoiding that. Um, is there actually an easy group here at all? I guess the Benfica group probably look, the Benfica, Liverpool, Dortmund group looks probably the easiest. Um, we know we're not getting past Leverkusen because we failed that last season and we've got two harder teams uh, this year round I would imagine. Man United seem to be very, very strong this year. Or at present. Monaco, Chelsea, Milan. Don't fancy that. Besiktas maybe. So I think it has to be A, B, H. A, B, or H. Please. Oh, I didn't mean to press the wrong button there. What group did we get? We got G. Man City, Atletico Madrid, and Porto. Who, if I remember correctly, manager is Alex Neal, who was manager at Rangers last season. He's a pretty neat looking uh, head of youth development. Uh, that lad. So... Uh, nothing updated there. That's a group for you anyway, guys. Uh, Madrid, Man City and Porto. Uh, McShane on loan. That's actually quite tempting. But he just scored in the Champions League for us, so I'm going to turn it down. I think. Key player. I think if you give me 100k and 60k... I can make this work. I mean, let's go have a look at our team reports. So squad depth. We've got Z Gomez, Arenk, Balotelli, and my booty can all play there. We've got Brandon Cannon and a couple other young lads that could come in if need be. And he's getting offered key player at a pretty good team. Uh, let's have a quick look at their staff. Wasn't going to cover any of this. But apparently it's going to be the best. So they've only got two coaches, Eddie May and Grant Murray. Uh, and Hendrick. We've got David Weir and Malky Mackay obviously coaching as well. Um, what's your facilities like? Below average. Who's Aberdeen getting a new stadium? That's annoying. Who really want a new stadium? Um, debate in this. Right, guys, we're going to work out what's happening in the next episode. So we'll come back for Man City in two day games time. That's the most logical game to come back for. Um, so I will see you in two games time when we take on Man City at the Etihad. Um, let me know what you think about the McShane transfer deal. Um, obviously this episode will go up and then... I'll probably record this episode, so I'll need to make a decision, but I'm going to go away and think about this before I actually make it on a snap win, because I'm not sure, but let me know what you guys think. And thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the Champions League.